Find the values of c guaranteed by the mean value theorem for the function f of x equals x to the seventh over the interval 0, 7 solution. So the formula we're going to use uh, is the formula for the average value of a function. The average value f of c is equal to 1 over b minus a times the definite integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x. And the value of c guaranteed by the mean value theorem is this value here. This is our c. So this is actually the mean value theorem. The mean value theorem tells you that there is a value of c in this interval. There could be more than one. There should be only one in this problem. So how do we do this problem? Well, we first work this out. Then we get whatever number. We get an answer. And we set that equal to f of c. And we solve for c. So step one, let's work this out. So here a is 0 and b is 7. So let me switch colors. This is 1 over 7 minus 0. And we're going from 0 to 7. So 0, 7. And we have x to the 7th dx. Good stuff. This is equal to, well, let me go ahead and subtract the 7. 1, well, this subtract the 0. So 1 7th, right, one more time. x to the 7th dx. Okay, now we're in a good place. Let's go ahead and integrate this bad boy. This is 1 7th. We use the power rule, right? We just add one, so we get x to the eighth over eight. That's a seven. And we're going from zero to seven. Seven times eight is 56, so we get one over 56. x to the eighth. And we're going from zero to seven. And first we plug in the seven. So this is one over 56 parentheses, and then plugging in the 7, we get 7 to the 8th minus 0 to the 8th. But 0 to the 8th is 0, so we end up with 7 to the 8th over 56. So how do you simplify this? Well, you could use a calculator, but that's uh, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Let, let's go ahead and do it by hand. 7 to the 8th, and you can think of 56 as 7 times 8. Ah, look at that. There's a 1 here, so you lose one of your 7s, so you end up with 7 to the 7th over 8. So that's the average value of the function over the interval 0, 7. We want the value of c guaranteed by the mean value theorem. So now all we do is recall that f of x was equal to x to the 7th. So we set f of c equal to what we worked out on the right-hand side, which is this. So 7 to the 7th over 8. So once you work out this guy, all you do is set it equal to f of c f of c is c to the 7th, right? Because f of x is x to the 7th. This is equal to 7 to the 7 over 8. And to solve this equation, you simply take the 7th root. So if you take the 7th root of c to the 7th, and you take the 7th root of 7 to the 7 over 8. So you get c equals, well, the 7th root of 7 to the 7 is 7. And on the bottom, you just get the 7th root of 8. And that is the final answer. I hope that made sense.